there are so many people outside of the, the higher structures of society that no one is talking to. That's where Mr. Trump comes in. Yeah. And uh, more power to him, for that matter. Yeah. He, he is talking and listening. I know that's another absolute heresy. Uh, he is not the cause of these things. He's the result of failures of other and more sophisticated people. Well, and I think I've, I have a friend who's working very closely with the Democratic Party in, in the United States and, and, and has been quite effective at doing so and trying to move the party closer to the middle and away from the radicals. And we discuss this a lot because, you know, I think one of the reasons that the people who hate the Democrats in the United States truly hate them, right? That there's just vitriol yeah. there, is because they've proved themselves incapable of generating a candidate who can actually take on Trump. Yeah. And, and I think there's a disappointment even among the enemies of the Democrats that's so profound there that it generates precisely this vitriol. It's like the man is, 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 is characterized by manifold flaws. And, 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 and I'm not saying this in a partisan way. No, I know. I and, accept. And the fact that the system works so poorly that a credible centrist candidate can't be found to to offer himself at least as a viable alternative. I mean, my poor friend, who's, who I said is, has been following this and has been deeply involved in the debates, he's just, he's just tearing out his hair <laughs> watching the Democrat <laughs> debates and watching well, it degenerate. Well, he this. should. Well, exactly. He but should. It's so It's so sad well, you to got see the, that. You have, you have a, a new age spiritualist who's going to be president of the United States. And you have them dissolving the idea of nationhood. We will abandon the border. I mean, it, anyway, it is such a weak thing, but the people in the street, the guy who called me about you, that's a class, and it's a vast class. Yes. And it's, it is, that's the great 50% yeah. that has been walked over and is turmoil, and all of the identity politics and all of those things that get traffic and commerce in, in conversation in the media, these are irrelevant to them, yeah. apart from being insulting. Yes. And after a while, the social pressure builds, it, and this game that's going on over here, We'll have to close or something breaks. Yes, yes. Well, I guess in Trump was an attempt to break it. Brexit you know? was another attempt. Yeah, that's right. Brexit was another and attempt. And Australia could illustrate. I'll, I'll let you go with one more question only. After all of that you have done and all the energy, obviously, that it required to do it, have you, have you come at this point to something fresh in your understanding about what counts and what does not count? how one conducts oneself about the universe. Has something new occurred to you, or is it a refinement of what you went in with? I think the fundamental thing that I've learned is that you can speak in, in the deepest terms imaginable, if you're careful, mm -hmm. to an extraordinarily wide range of people, and that, that, and that that's desperately needed, and that hopefully it's salutary. It looks like it's salutary. And, and so that's hopeful, you know, the, the, the counterpoint to the stress of, of the last three years has mm. been the, my observation of the positive consequences of having these sorts of deep, as deep as I can make them anyways, philosophical discussions, and to watch thousands of people participate as if it's important. You know, when I talked to Sam Harris in Dublin about the relationship between facts and values and religion and science, which you know, it's about as academic a topic as you could hope yeah. for. We had 10,000 people come to the... To it's the it, it's, 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 so that's... The university may not be functioning where it's Shouldn't, supposed to be yeah. functioning, but that doesn't mean that it's not functioning, you know, and, and it's, will, it's out there. Thought will find its place. Well, that's, that's, that's what it looks like to me, and, and, and so that's been unbelievably positive, although very... Um, Demanding. Yeah, very. It, it, it's, it's. Well, and I'm, I'm in. In these interviews, and, and more frequently, I've tended to get emotional, and, and the reason for that is the f health problems that are plaguing my family, at least in part. I'm, yes, I understand. Um, so that makes me more, much more Susceptible. fragile than I should otherwise be. Just. Despite my, despite my exhortations to people to, you know, bear their bear their cross, my my friend, uphill. I'm a cross for you to bear. Listen, I thank you greatly <coughs> for your courtesy because you obviously didn't have to do this, and I really do admire what you're doing, and I will say on behalf of the people who will never meet you that you are a very fine person.
Thank you. And You're thank you very much for the support that you've shown me over the last two years. I it was do, much appreciated. I would do it 20 times. Well, I appreciate that very much. It was a pleasure to meet you and to speak to you. Pleasure to meet you, sir, I tell you that.